All the scientists and all the research is pointing towards having longer, hotter, drier summers, extended bushfire periods. Uh, unfortunately, the season we had was bad, but there could be more in the future. We don't know how bad or when, but it's, it's the nature of living in the bush. And I think that if you're going to live in the bush, I think you owe it to yourself, for your own peace of mind, to have something like this uh, as, a, as a safeguard. All right, so here's the system in action. It's quite hard to see today in the light, but it's actually casting a lot of water out and around. You can probably see I'm getting droplets of water on me now, but I'm six meters away from the house. It's wetting down the grass, which is really important, it's wetting down the decks and all of the hardwood. The materials are made out of copper and brass, which is important because it's, you don't have to worry about the UV, UV stabilization, like it's gonna last forever. Um, in this system, Mike wanted to make the copper pipes sort of blend in with the hardwood, so we tried to keep it tucked in under the eaves and just make it uh, not, not stand out too much and be a bit, little bit camouflaged. Um, the heads are positioned at about five metres apart and that's the uh, that, that's an Australian standard or requirement. They're giving out about uh, seven and a half litres a minute. Uh, the two impact sprinklers up on the roof which are chucking a wide arc around soaking down the vegetation. On the other side of the house uh, we've got a sprinkler head soaking down the water tank which is important that you protect your water supply and a lot of the water that's getting thrown up onto the roof is going back into the tank to replenish the system. It's really important that you cover your, uh, the, the, the key areas to cover are your gutters, your valleys, your ridges, and they're the areas that uh, are most vulnerable to ember attack. The idea is that the embers blow in and they get extinguished before they get a chance to get into your roof space. All right, you can see how wet I'm getting. It's absolutely getting, I'm getting saturated here. And um, that's exactly what you want. It's wetting down the grass, it's wetting down the vegetation, it's wetting down the hardwood deck. And that's so important because if one little ember gets down in, in, in amongst the gaps of your deck, it's underneath, it's combusting, have trouble. So look at the water that's coming down over all the hardwood. Uh, it's great. So this whole system's designed around turning on and then going around and pulling out spot fires. And that's exactly what Mike did here. Turn this on, didn't really have to worry about the house. There was fires going on over here, 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 up there, and he was just running around with his line of 38 and just knocking out little spot fires here and there. Coming back, checking on the house every now and then. The house is cool. Keep on worrying about the shed and everything else. And it worked really well for him, and I'm glad.